Hi, uh, my name's Jim and I'm the author of this book, which is Baby's First Bank Heist, which is the first in a series of books about this little guy here, who is Baby Frank. And the books are written by me and the pictures are by Stephen Collins. And uh, I'm going to read you the first story now. Here we go. So, Baby's First Bank Heist. Baby Frank loved animals, and yet he could not get his mum and dad to understand how much he'd like a pet. It didn't matter what it was, a dog, a cat or a rabbit, if Frank saw fur while out on walks, he'd lunge and try to grab it. So here, look, here's mum and dad taking Frank out, and Frank's trying to take this poor man's dog. But it's not gone well. And though each night at story time, young Frank would always choose books involving birds and beasts from ducks to kangaroos. His parents would not change their minds. His mum said, you're not ready. And they cost too much, said Dad. Be happy with your teddy. And Frank does not look happy with that teddy. Frank tried to think of all the ways a pet could be obtained. He was sure that he could steal one, but the problem still remained of how he was supposed to find the money he would need to buy his newfound furry friend it's bedding, bowl and feed. Out shopping with his mum one day, the answer came to Frank. There really is no other choice. I'll have to rob a bank. He waited till the coast was clear with mum stuck in a queue. Then Frank put on a bandit mask and disappeared from view. Past every camera, gate and guard, the baby crawled and seen. There were no bars or laser beams he couldn't fit between. And look, it helps as well that the bank guard has fallen asleep. Quick as a flash, he found the vault and scooped up all the loot. He swiftly stuffed the notes and coins inside his romper suit. Then back to mummy scarpered and sat down without a fuss. Nobody tried to stop him as he went home on the bus. But do you think maybe Frank's mum should have seen something wasn't right? Late that night, Frank crept downstairs and turned on the computer and started searching animals to check which ones were cuter. He knew he wanted something small but not a boring mouse. And so it was that Frank received a meerkat at his house. He snuck his pet up to his room and kept it out of sight and practised looking after her to show he'd do it right. The meerkat was a great success and little Frank adored it. But pretty soon he wanted more. Why not? He could afford it. First a dog, and then a pig, two aardvarks and a cat were smuggled up into his room. He should have stopped at that. Look, already, with Dad cleaning his teeth, Frank's trying to keep all these animals quiet so he doesn't get found out. There were leopards in his cupboards and a beaver in the bath, and Frank was really struggling to hide his new giraffe. Now look, he's using his car and the washing line and the tree and the giraffe's still poking out. But luckily mum's on her phone and hasn't seen the turtle and dad's watching TV and hasn't seen the rabbit and the wolf and the snake. And there's animals all around this picture. I think Steve's put in more than 20 for people to try and spot. It all went wrong one afternoon when mum called out and said, Don't be alarmed, but I just found a rhino in our shed. It took her some detective work to find out Frank's deceit. Banknotes and a bandit mask, a pile of named receipts. Mum showed her clues to Dad and said it was her firm belief. Our baby wanted pets so much he's turned into a thief. And Frank's looking quite guilty now. Once Frank could see how sad they were, he quickly understood that stealing things was very wrong. From now on, he'd be good. Frank's parents took him to the bank and told them of the theft. The bank asked for their money, but there wasn't any left. The family went home to their pets and wondered what to do. Until at last Dad had a thought. Let's open up a zoo! So look at that, they've got animals all over the place now. And Frank's up on his roof feeding his giraffe. And uh, they flooded their living room to make an aquarium. And look how cross their neighbour is. Can you imagine how cross your neighbour would be if you opened a zoo in your house? 
By selling tickets at the door, they soon began to save. Frank tried his best to lend a hand and show he could behave. He served his time without a doubt, and though still on all fours, it didn't stop him mucking out and even leading tours. At night, he'd lie down with his pets and gaze up at the stars. Baby Frank had got his way. He was happy behind bars. And so that's the end. So that was Frank's first adventure and he's ended up happy with his animals. And so if you enjoyed that, we've also got Baby's first jailbreak in which you also get to meet Baby Bruce. But uh, that's another story, maybe for another time. And uh, thanks very much. I hope you enjoyed listening to it.